Hi everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to Crochet Rocks for another chat. Good morning and good afternoon if you're watching me in the afternoon. How are you all? Good, I hope. So it's been an absolutely scorching hot day today. Today is, for me, Monday. Obviously, it's Tuesday for you. So, yeah, absolutely hot today. Honestly, I can't believe it, really, because we've gone from cold straight to hot. There's no warm. And uh, I wore boots <laughs> today when I went out. And, boy, did I really, really regret that. Could have had sandals. It was that nice. And... Um, it's gone a bit overcast now it's threatening rain they did say it would rain in the afternoon but it's um it didn't come so uh it's quite late afternoon now i've just been helping gary plant a tree we um i sound a bit husky don't i <coughs> don't know why we bought plum tree for the garden and um yeah we just well, my little, we normally have all of this in shot because it's nice and Maybe I just need to go, doop. there you go. Even the view of my glasses case might be a bit far. That's better. Yeah, so um, we bought a plum tree. And uh, earlier we bought a couple of trees. We got one that was a pear and one that was an apple. And we bought them in a supermarket when they sometimes have these uh, little offers. And uh, one lived, one didn't. But when he planted them, he didn't put what they were. So we don't know if it's the pear tree or the apple tree that's alive. I think looking at the leaves, it reminds me of the pear tree I used to have. So uh, unless they're like, like very similar leaves, um, I think it's the pear. Not absolutely sure though. So um, we've got this plum tree um, and we went to a garden centre <coughs> and um, they had this little round building and it said crafting I don't know what it said. So I thought, oh, crafting. Let's go and have a look then. Well, they were closed. And there's a little sign on the door that said, sorry, you've missed us. We'll be back in five minutes. So I figured I should probably go to the loo or something. So I looked through the door, expecting to see some, maybe some yarn, crafting stuff. And all I could see was little knickknacks, you know, that you might buy your mum for Mother's Day. <laughs> you really didn't like her much. You know, <laughs> there was nothing in there that was crafty, nothing whatsoever, really, unless she made all of those knickknacks, maybe. But um, I didn't go back, you know, when she was open. I, I, I thought I'd swerve that one. Yeah, give it a give it a swerve. Anyway, I looked at the trees and lost Gary. And I saw one of these trees was one hundred and forty nine pounds. And it was only as tall as me. And I thought, what the heck is that tree? I'd, it would need to produce diamonds or gold for me to spend that kind of money on a tree. And um, luckily, though, the plum tree wasn't anywhere near that. Thank goodness. Otherwise, well, we wouldn't have got it, that's for sure. But yeah, so that's what we did with our day. And <clears throat> I did a little yarn quest. I did. So we were out and I said to Gary, I really fancy having a mooch around a yarn shop. But um, I think all the ones in our local vicinity I have done. So um, while he needed to pop into Aldi, he said, why don't you pop over there? You know, you haven't been in there for a long while. And I said, oh, you know, I could do. I was thinking that myself, actually. I wonder if they've got any nice yarns in. And um, I've had this little bee in my bonnet. Um it's a weird saying, isn't it, really? Got a bee in my bonnet. <laughs> Can you imagine having a bee in your bonnet? <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I've had this little idea, this little kernel of an idea. And um, I'm making something at the moment. I did sort of give you a quick flash of part of it yesterday. So I fancied using some of the Poundland yarn that I got recently, the really colourful one, I thought might look really nice with a cream colour. So while I was out, I thought, oh, look, um, I'll get that yarn. So, yeah, I did. I did a little yarn quest and um, bought quite a bit, really, considering. Um, I didn't get unnecessary yarn, 
but um, I did get some nice bits and I will show you all those on my little yarn quest well later on today for you it's tomorrow for me but you know later on today for you let's do this shall we I think I'm did I turn the page yesterday all the time I did that uh, um, yarn quest couldn't find these I had I thought I'd stuck it in there and it was it was in this little cubby here and uh, but it had a book on top of it so I couldn't see it so you know you're old when you know you're old when your wild oats have turned into prunes and all bran <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I quite like prunes I remember when we was at school and sometimes we would have prunes with custard and everybody would hate that and I'd like it so I'd end up with everybody's prunes knowing now what they do to you <laughs> I can't say that I ever put the two together but yeah I used to eat everybody's prunes it's like you don't want them just shove them on there then <laughs> oh my goodness how am I meant to figure out what that is it's like a little jack in the box it's definitely having a bit of a um is that a backpack or no I don't even know well no I can't really figure that one let's have a, a study of it put the little light on who's that okay so that's Carl Weathers it looks like he's flying he can't be I don't know it's Carl Weathers you know from Rocky Paul Creed so that is Paul Creed Obviously, it's Mandalorian because he was in that. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I can't figure that one. Some of them are very dark. Right, stay there. Oh, well, don't stay there then. Oh, so I was outside having a good old chat with my neighbour, Lee. I haven't seen her for a while. Well, all, all winter, to be honest. <laughs> See her out the window occasionally. As she's going to, because she gets lots of food delivered and stuff like that. So, but she was out doing a garden and I saw a lorry go by. And it was one of those uh, dumper lorries with the earth on the back. And I thought, they're not starting that again, are they? So I figured I'd go out and have a little look. But it must have been somebody who had ordered some topsoil. Because it wasn't going to the end of the road and it disappeared around the corner. So... Yeah, but I did kind of, and so she was out there and we had a good old chat. Um, I haven't seen her for, for a long time. It's weird really, isn't it? They live next door and you don't see them. And yet I see, you'd think that I'd see her because when you would come out, um, her house is there, whereas Collins is that way and there's a big fence. So I can't really see Collins, um, but I can see Lee's. <laughs> so you'd think I'd see more of her, but. I don't know. We put the world to rights anyway, the good chat. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't done any more of my crochet today. Been busy. Gary whisked to me out early this morning as soon as the postman had been and picked up my parcels. Um, that was it. We were gone. We were out. But we did do a few bits and pieces. We went and got Gary um, more coffees because he's really into those flavoured ones and I got I have some for my orders I, I used to put a tea bag in orders I still got a few tea bags but um I've been buying the coffees the flavoured ones to put in so I've got a little bit of and some Harry bows whereas I always put biscuits in I got some Harry bows uh, when I looked after Tyler for the day um it was like I was going shopping and just kept piling stuff in the basket and I'm going you don't want those cars you don't play with cars anymore, but he's like sticking all these cars in. And then it was like great big bag of Harry Bows. I thought he's got loads of Easter sweets. Really doesn't need another bag of Harry Bows, but I, I bought them anyway. And then when I looked, they were individual bags. And I thought, oh, well, I will use those. I'll just pop them in orders. So that's what I've been doing with them. And um, I've got lots of biscuits, new bickies for that. I need to get some more tea bags that are wrapped because you know I can't just put a loose tea bag in really it needs to have a wrapping um so the next time I go out and I see some I'll get I'll get some more tea bags for my order so I can put in different things I like to put in different things um 
what else have I got to tell you? Um, nearly finished Vikings. I'm a bit sad about that. I think with my, it says when we it pops up with the next one, and it said something like the final something, and I thought I don't think it is the final episode. I think it's the beginning of the end, though, because um, there was talk of them doing another season. Then I wasn't sure if they were going to do it or if they said they were or they weren't. But um, I th Gary said he thinks there was nine and we were on number six. So he either got it wrong and it was upside down. <laughs> we are on the last one. I look like I've got a red nose. I just sort of looked a bit red because I've been outside, I think. And I, I was wished I'd put Factor on earlier. Went into another little shop. We've got this shop here called the Chain Store Massacre. And they used to just have um, things that would, that would return to catalogues. So if, you know, you got one of those catalogues where you pay monthly for things and somebody had ordered something and then they, did, they didn't want it and they sent it back, but they'd busted all the packaging up. They used to buy all that stuff and sell it off. So they would obviously get it cheaper. And then over the years, they've just turned into a store. So... Um, we went and had a little look because I need a dressing table chair or stool. I used to have one. I still, well, to, to, even at this moment, I've got one of the dining room chairs that I, I just pop under there because they're fabric. And um, Gary has one on his uh, craft table and I have one in there. But it's too big. And, um, of course, he's now made a new craft room. So he said, do you, do you need that chair? And I said, no, it's too big for the room, really but I would need a stall. So we went in there and had a look at them and they were like ridiculous prices. They weren't that great. They were they were okay, you know, but they were like £75 for a this stupid little stall. So I've been looking on Amazon at them and um, there's a couple of nice ones that I've uh, seen on there. So I might get one soon, but we had a good look round and They've got different stuff in there now. We've got this uh, furniture shop that's kind of weird where they've got all these things like carved out of one piece of wood. You know, that sort of odd furniture. Well, Chainstorm Massacre's got tons of that. And then in the next bit, they've got three-piece suites, beds, sofa beds. And I think a lot of them are kind of designed or they get small stuff because there's not a lot of holiday camps here so people tend to go in there and buy bits for their caravans or the chalets or something but yeah they didn't have anything for me in there anyway and they sometimes I know it sounds crazy but sometimes do fruit trees which is why we went in there in the first place but they didn't have any fruit trees so we went to a, a proper garden centre I was going to go to Dobby's, but um, I've got a card for Dobby's and um, I can't find it anywhere. And I thought, I'm not going there without my card because I get a discount in Dobby's. And I've also, you get f two free drinks every month and I've never used it, um, possibly because I've lost it. And but I didn't know that until today. So we consequently, we didn't go to Dobby's. Hmm. I need to find that card. I wonder where that went. I mean, I haven't seen it since I, I actually got it, which is probably like Christmas time. Oh, well, never mind. So I'm not going to be babbling away in this corner for too much longer because I've got a bit of a backache. I think um, it was all that gardening and stuff. Uh, not that I did much, but I got it out of the pot when it was a huge thing. And then I had to... Um, collect a load of stuff for the rubbish because it's being emptied tomorrow so I probably uh, jarred it just a little bit so I'm gonna go um, make a cup of tea because I've been drinking lots of water rather than tea so I didn't bring one in with me and I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of my uh, my new crochet blanket and hopefully get that done so that I can do a tutorial for you before the week's out so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.